Only on KCTV5, a local teacher and football coach charged with assaulting a student is still coaching kids. At 4 o'clock, we told you about Coach Miles Hotchard. Uh, Liberty North student says Hotchard choked him and pushed him off a chair and onto the uh, floor in the school's training room. That happened back in June. The student pressed charges and Hotchard was ticketed for assault. He resigned in July but says there is another side to this story. Regardless, in August, he was hired at Odessa High School to coach kids there. We've heard from a lot of you about this particular story that we brought you last night at 10. Now, some people say the coach hasn't been convicted yet, so what's the problem? But others wonder why he's still allowed to coach. Right now at 5, we have new information that shows just how backwards this is. Here's KCTV 5's Joe Chioda. Here's the deal. For the entirety of this football season, assistant coach Miles Hotchard was coaching kids while he was also set to appear in court. It's been continued three times now. A lot of you have said Hotchard should still get to coach until it goes to court. Let a judge decide. So we decided to flip the tables and see what would happen if a student was in the same situation. Say a student had a pending criminal charge like assault against them. Would they be allowed to play? It's actually not too hard to find out. I went to the Missouri State High School Activities Association handbook, and that exact question is listed right here on page 42. According to that handbook, the student would not be allowed to play. They wouldn't be allowed back on the field until legal matters have concluded totally. It also says that it is important for local school officials to diligently be checking in with law enforcement. But there is more here. If you go to page 13, you'll see this question. It asks if a student is charged for criminal activity, should they report it to the school? The answer, yes. And if they don't, but continue to play, due to lack of self-reporting, that student is ineligible for up to 365 days from the day the school first found out about the charge. To sum this up, Miles Hotcher jumped from one school to another to coach a whole season after being charged with assault. If a student did that and didn't tell the school, they wouldn't be allowed on the field for at least a year. This handbook right here says so. But for teachers, the Department of Education says Odessa's decision to hire Hotchard is legal. Hotchard didn't want to go on camera. He told me any comment he had would come from Odessa. Odessa did provide a statement. The superintendent says Hotchard passed a background and reference check. He added they've had no issues with Hotchard since his employment. And if you're wondering why Coach Hotchard has such strong support, well, Odessa, just one state. Joe Chiotto, KCTV 5 News.